Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef of Korea. Today's weekly video I'm going to dedicate it to one of my favorite corals, the Ganeopora. I've left it for last because you know I needed it to acclimate and so the uh, polyp extension is much much more. So I'm going to talk about the care requirements and also I got two fish. I got two captive bred Bangai Cardinals. They're little babies. They've never seen the ocean. They were actually born as I said, captive bred. And then uh, another coral, when I went ahead and I got the two cardinals, I went ahead and got a little uh, Montipora cap, which I placed it on the top. So I'll show you that, and uh, I'll also show you uh, an observation that I did on the Stylopora. If you follow me last week, I talked about that it was like the head was elongated. I don't know what it was. Well, actually, it's actually gonna split. The two heads are gonna split, and not only that, I'm going to show you on the candy cane where not only the front polyp, but the back polyp is also elongating, getting ready to split. So let's take a deep dive and check it out. Okay, and as you must be aware, this coral is an LPS coral. Stands for Large Polyp Stony Corals. Now, this coral is also called a flower pot coral. Now, they come from two parts of the world, of the oceans, Indonesia and from Australia. Now, the Indonesia species are said to be more difficult to keep in an aquarium environment, as opposed to the Australian species. Now, they are found in red, pink, like this one, purple, green, and teal colors. You can tell that the coral is healthy by observing new polyp growth between the more mature polyps as you're seeing here. If you look at it closely, you'll see that the base of the coral, just, I would say, uh, where the uh, plug is right, you know, where that coral starts, you see like little babies of polyps coming out. That's a sign that the coral is very healthy. Now, when it comes to feeding, they should be fed phytoplankton and I would say between two to three times a week by applying the food slightly away from the coral and not directly on top of it due to they tend to close up uh, when too close to its polyps. So what, you know, what happens is that if you get too, too close and when I got it, I would try to do this. I would try to target feed uh, very close to the extended polyps and when it does is the polyps are very sensitive. Their mouths are very sensitive, so it will go ahead close and contract, so it actually won't, uh, won't eat. So you have to do it at a distance, or uh, observe the current going towards the coral, and just feed it at the area where the current is going to hit it, and you'll do fine. Now what I'm feeding them, uh, and I mean the whole reef as a whole, but uh, specifically the Ganeopora, what I'm feeding it is reef roids by Polylab and Phytofeast by Reef Nutrition. Now the water flow, I would say, uh, should be between moderate to strong. And then the lighting, it should be low to moderate, but can be acclimated to different types of light levels. And the care level for this coral is moderate. Okay, now moving along, this is a little higher angle angling a little bit towards the bottom and this is in reference to the candy canes. If you notice closely, not only the polyp on the front is elongating to separate and become two polyps, but I just noticed the one on the back is also doing the same thing. The one on the back was just one simple polyp and now it has started to elongate which is a signal that is also going to split. So instead of, like I mentioned on my previous video, that it's going to turn into three, it's actually going to turn into four polyps. I'm just going to bring a little closer so you can see it. Okay, as I mentioned before, the stylo, if you notice, um, if you notice closely on the uh, head, the head there 
and uh, you look at it from the top, I'm not able to get a, a clear shot, but actually it's starting to like, like a, a V shape. It's starting to protrude to each side and the same thing holds true on the uh, other head. They're starting to like separate to go to the sides, which is a great sign. And here I got a front angle of it. So you can more or less see what I'm talking about. You appreciate it more from the side view than from the front view. And I just put some food so you can see the Bongai Cardinal. There's one of them. This one is uh, less shy than the other, a little more acclimated. He comes out. The other one is usually on the on the side. The other one is actually a little smaller than this one. And here's a shot of the red Monty red cap. They also come in purple, but I decided to get the red one, which really is gonna pop out and stand more. So I thought I'd show you this angle when it comes to the Monty red cap that I also purchased when I got the two Bangai Cardinals. Hey, there's one of them on the bottom. There you go. And here's another angle of the Monty red cap. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. You found it interesting and fun. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Right next to it, there's a little notification bell. Hit that and you'll be the first ones to get notified that Eddie's Reef of Korea uploaded the video. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great, safe, fantastic day. Bye-bye.